Well, Libya, um, Libya will be this afternoon, so it's too, <laughs> Mike's too um, tall for me. Um, Libya will be this afternoon, uh, so we'll see what comes out of that then. I don't want to preempt discussion, but I appreciate the interest. Do you, do you expect a resolution soon? Um, we need to discuss uh, with the Secretary General, who will be doing the briefing, uh, and then work out what the best way is of supporting Berlin and supporting Salome. Uh, well, I understand that the European Union and uh, uh, the High Representative, Mr. Burrell, is looking at how best the European Union can support stability and um, peace in Libya and how it can uh, make a contribution to Berlin. So I don't want to preempt uh, the outcome of those EU discussions. Anyone like to ask me about yesterday and the Russian <laughs> Um, well, I think the um, media coverage uh, put, rightly puts the emphasis on the uh, misinformation and disinformation uh, that we saw in the Russian uh, presentation. Uh, and actually, it's, it's not the OPCW that will fall down like Humpty Dumpty. What's going to shatter into lots of little pieces uh, are these Russian false allegations uh, and these concocted stories uh, about what really happened on the ground. Uh, I think the issue fundamentally is very simple. Uh, Syria is not abiding uh, by what it committed to under the Chemical Weapons Convention. Those commitments were guaranteed by Russia, uh, so Russia is not helping uh, Syria to comply with those commitments. Uh, we have a Duma report that the uh, chemical weapons were used, uh, and that report has been backed up by independent experts. And the OPCW is the international body charged by the international community uh, to do its work to support the CW Convention. Uh, and I don't think uh, the Russians have managed uh, to really dent international support uh, for OPCW, uh, which is obviously a good thing, but it would be much better if all those energies uh, that they expend on these false stories uh, were put into solidifying uh, the Chemical Weapons Convention. Um, I think, to be honest, all briefings on um, current situations have a role uh, to play. Uh, they enable the Israelis and the Palestinians to put their case. They enable the Security Council to survey what's going on on the ground on the basis of a detailed report uh, by the UN. Uh, so yes, I think they are useful. I don't have a date for the release of the OPCW report. I mean, in a rational uh, world, a world that wanted to support the rules-based uh, international system, that believed in multilateralism, uh, that report, when published, would then come to the council, uh, and if someone was uh, found to be accountable, the council uh, would be able to fulfill its proper responsibility for international peace and security uh, and take action. Um, at least 13 members of the Security Council believe that what I've just described is the natural order of things. Uh, two members, Russia and China, do not, and that's our fundamental difficulty. Um, we took a, a national decision uh, to designate Hezbollah. Uh, I don't see an immediate uh, read across to the council, and I don't have plans to raise it. Thanks, everybody. Thank